Hello everybody, it's January the 7th. Welcome to our devotional series on prayer through the book of Judges. Today we are in Judges chapter 5, which is a continuation of the song of Judge Deborah and her great general Barak. They had won this incredible battle. And then this is the song they sang in thanksgiving to the Lord because of the great victory that he had given them. And there's some incredible truths in here. I'm going to encourage you today to read this whole chapter. You probably read it yesterday, but read it again. And, and because their songs reflect the values and the sentiments of heaven. This is what verse 8 says. God chose new leaders when war came to the city gates. Now, I don't know what sort of tune came with that, but this is what they're saying. And war came to the city gates and God chose new leaders. You know, one of those leaders were was a lady who was in her tent and a runaway king came in the tent. She pretended to give him uh, refuge and then she drove a spike through his temple and killed the most important enemy that Israel was facing at the time. God chose new leaders when war came to the city gates. And so uh, that's what's happening to us right now, isn't it? There is a war at the city gate. It hasn't come in the form of a particular person. It's come in the form of a virus. And the war is against the way you do family and the way you do faith and the way you do church. And there's confinement and there's, there's war. And this verse says, God raises up new leaders when war comes to the gate. You might be saying, God, I've really never done much in the kingdom of God up until now. But this is the moment God wants to raise you up. The verse goes on to speak about, you know, God's heart with the princes of Israel. But then, curiously, verse 16 through to 18 talks about the people who refused to stand up when war was at the city gates. Why did you stay among the sheep pens, Reuben? In other words, why were you involved with your job so much? You didn't get engaged in this war that God's calling you to. Gilead. You stayed beyond the Jordan. We were just comfortable. You decided to be comfortable. That was your excuse. Some guys have an excuse for a job, others to be comfortable. Dan, why did you linger by the ships? In other words, what, what's wrong with that? Were you thinking of traveling? Were you thinking of getting up and leaving? Uh, just when war comes to the city gates? And then Asher, you remained at the coast. You hung around there uh, to have a bit of a holiday. And... There's war at the city gates. And so, so they're singing this song and they're saying, man, when war comes, God raises up leaders. God makes people stand up. God makes people go for it. And, and I believe that are you listening to this right now, God's speaking to you. You know, God spoke very clearly to our church about planting sites in Cape Town. So in other words, in Observatory and in Somerset West, and uh, so we're going to do that as a church. Now, I found every response uh, in the book, every excuse in the book as we were planning this to not involve myself too much in this plot. I could send them. I could be the great encourager. But I just built a house. My mom and dad and my in-laws have just moved in with us. Uh, we've got a whole new season. The church needs me back here in Maritzburg. But I feel God is saying, Time for me to get up and go and take my wife and go. And so in August next year, we're going to be going down Cape Town back, Cape Town back. We're not selling a house leaving Maritzburg, but we're going to spend a huge amount of time down in Cape Town because it's time, of, time for war. Uh, it's not time to sit back. It's not time to, you know, pull up the covers and say, I, I want to check out right now. No, no, no. In times of war, God raises up fresh leaders and he gives leaders fresh assignments. If you're a leader already in the church, God is giving you a fresh assignment. If you've never led before, God's calling you. He's raising you up right now. And so I'd like to pray for you. And I'd like you to begin to pray and intercede for the leaders around you. Pray for the leaders of the church. Pray for the pastors of the church. Not just our church, all churches. Because when war comes to the gate, God raises up leaders. Let's pray for him to do that. Lord Jesus, we lift your church to you. We lift the pastors all over this nation to you. We lift the connect group leaders and the worship leaders and the children's church leaders and everyone who's never led before, Lord, that's part of your kingdom. 
Your word says that when war comes to the gates, you raise up leaders. And Lord, I pray that you would give us grace to say no to the excuses that would sideline us and keep us out of your action. In Jesus' name, amen.